Mai Khoi is one of Vietnam's best known musicians. A former darling of the country's ruling Communist Party, her songwriting was nationally celebrated and she was the poster girl for Vietnam. Today, she is an enemy of the state and lives in constant fear for her life. My shows were shut down. I was evicted from my house, was under surveillance 24 7. In 2010, I won the highest award of musicians in Vietnam. If you get that award, everyone will know you. And the government used my song to promote for the country's image. Music has always been closely monitored by Vietnam's communist regime. During the Vietnam War, Music that did not promote communist ideals was banned. Today, the few songwriters who dare to directly challenge the authority of the regime face serious consequences. I was resisting social norms about what it means to be a Vietnamese woman. I wrote a song about women's freedom. I caused the national scandal for saying I don't want to have children and not wearing a bra. I couldn't feel free to create art and making music. And I start to spend time with dissident artists. That's the way I am now. Mai Khoi started to be monitored by the regime. President Obama, I want to meet you when you come to Vietnam in May. Before the visit of the then US President Barack Obama in 2016, Mai Khoi sent a plea to him to discuss the state of human rights in the country. Uh, we have a very popular artist here who is speaking out on behalf of uh, freedom of speech and expression and uh, artists throughout Vietnam. The meeting led to police raids of her concerts. If they don't like the lyrics of the song, they will ask you to repeal the song from the album. The censorship system in Vietnam censor everything because they want to control people's thought. Despite sweeping economic and social reforms in Vietnam, the ruling Communist Party retains tight media censorship and does not tolerate criticism. Our government do not accept people together in crowd right. and do not accept demonstrates today. Last year, Vietnam ranked in the bottom six of 180 countries for press freedom. Arrests of democracy campaigners, bloggers and activists have escalated in the past year. Vietnam is a one-party state that doesn't allow any political opposition. We don't have freedom of speech. We don't have freedom of expression. We don't have freedom of assembly. A controversial cybersecurity law was introduced this year, forcing internet companies to remove content the authorities deem to be against the Vietnamese state tech giants such as Facebook and Google have to hand over user data if asked by the Vietnamese government. When we have social media, we have the only small space to feel free to speak. But now, under the cybersecurity laws, we cannot do that anymore. Despite constant surveillance and threats of imprisonment, Mai Khoi still lives in Vietnam, and she continues to use her voice to advocate for a fairer society. I have a mission. I need to sing out what I've seen. As an artist, we have the mission to speak for an unspeakable voice.